What's up, YouTube? How's it going? I'm back again for another random video. So I just did a muffler delete on my uh, 2016 GMC Sierra uh, 5.3. Here's what I did. I'll explain it in layman's terms as easy as I can. So I cut out the muffler. I measured out what I needed. I'm going to make this any wider. Nope. So here's all the mistakes and you're gonna learn from me. I need to get muffler tape, fix that. That's got an air leak, or a muffler leak, sorry. And it needs some clamps. Uh, pipe pulling comes in 12 inches here. I don't know if it's standard everywhere, but in Canada, uh, Princess Auto. So I had to take two ends of that. And then I got a reducer right here. And then I left the flapper valve on, which I should have cut off. Anytime you're doing a muffler delete, make sure you cut this stupid thing off. What I did was take some chicken wire, tighten it around, and then I put it on to the bolt here. Uh, got another clamp. Uh, sorry, I don't know all the terms for everything. I'm still learning how to do all this crap. Um, so then I connected the butt ends, and then I put this on. And voila, if you can understand any of that. So yeah, so cut off the muffler. I took two 12 inch pieces of pipe that didn't fit. So then I put a butt in for like 30 bucks. And then I had to cut about four inches off this pipe because it was too long, which really what I should have done was cut about four inches more from the muffler to cut off the stupid flapper valve that reduces back pressure. And every time it switches from four to eight, you know, the little bit of drone you get from that this was installed but you got your resonator still which eliminates a lot of sound uh you want the good sound but you don't want the drone so i'm leaving the resonator and uh hopefully this will be good what i should have done is uh apparently i need i should get this welded i'm gonna put some muffler tape over that and i'm gonna put some muffler tape over that fix that that'll be good to go this cost me 97 dollars canadian uh, this is three, this is two and three quarters. You're going to need that to fit over this pipe. And then this is two and a half. This fits. And then this is two and a half. You have to really play around to get this on because this pipe is two and uh, three quarters itself or 2.75 inches. Um, you know, whatever. Same measurement, I guess. <sighs> I can't math right now, I'm, my head hurts. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I got some chicken wire, wrapped it on there, tied it on, and uh, boom. It's gonna sound way better. I'm gonna go for a ride, try this baby out, and uh, yeah, pray for the best. Make sure these are nice and tight. You wanna put it on perfect, because when I cut underneath here and I le left it alone for a couple days, what, what it was doing was, was melting the exhaust gas, obviously, <coughs> was right underneath the truck, which made it so loud because the res and the flapper, nothing was connected. It sounded fucking badass, but it was cooking my um, undercoat, so that's not good. Plus, you don't want exhaust in the cab. So, yeah, there you have it, folks. It's Jimmy rigged. It's ghetto. It's redneck, but it works. I wish I had my keys on me because I'd start it right now, but... There you have it. Let's see how this sounds. We're going to go for a little ratty ride. 